Nate. Another oh, that's my homie, man. Just man, enjoy your life, bro. Enjoy your life, man. He's living life. Him and him and Nick, they doing their thing, man. I'm proud of them. And uh, those dudes, no matter how high they get, man, they don't change, bro. I love them. I appreciate it. If he, if he gets a third one against Connor, what? You know I'm going with Nate. I thought he won the second one. Me too. Yeah, that's just me, though. Do you feel this validates your champ as the legend that can't take it from you? Man, listen. Does it secure your place in history for, for Andre Ward's life? I actually want to have that. It's tricky. I mean, like, I have my personal opinion, but then I have an opinion I got to share with you guys. I mean, put it like this. I think it's getting harder and harder to be denied from a historical standpoint and from a legacy standpoint. You know, you know, Hall of Fame is so important to me, man. And I think, you know, if I'm not there already, we're inching closer. You don't think it might the credentials? If you guys gotta decide, man. Hey, Andre. Andre, don't marry a fighter that's number one pound for pound. You sure that it's in to do it against the so-called best. What does that mean to you? It's everything. I mean, listen, Floyd Mayweather, one of my favorite fighters of all time, has been holding the number one pound for pound spot hostage for all the years that I was close. And there's nothing I can do about it but bow down and just respect him and let him either retire or move on, you know, and do something else with his life. So, um, for me to kind of have, you know, some downtime and then coming back and working my way back to that spot, yeah. The number one pound for pound spot is, 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 is very important. Close in the distance. Very important. Yeah. Close. And I hope that right. just gets me to that point. Are you, you like are you heavyweight shadow like LeBron, Satan, Jordan, nah. so to speak? Now I, I don't know. Maybe it's something weird about me, but like I'm content with guys like Floyd and even other great fighters having their position. Like I just want to stay in my lane. I'm not like a guy that's like I'm gonna break his records here and I'm gonna win more title. Like I know that's for Floyd, and you know it just happened to work that way for him. And, and I, I'm gonna have my legacy in my lane. I've never been a guy to try to, I don't know. Maybe I have too much respect for those guys, but I never want to compete with them. You know, I just respect them and I leave them there and I want to you know, create my own life. Great. How many shoes do you have in your collection? Cause too this, many. What, what do you like more? These just, are the hey, How many shoes do I have just in, in the Las Vegas home that I rented this last week? How many? At least 10. <laughs> in one week. 10. It's crazy. The gold ones were crazy and these are pretty good. What are these? These are pretty nice too, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, Andre, you do, you draw, do you draw upon that Darnell Boone fight when he went down you know, in the second round? Did you draw upon that experience? I really didn't, man. It's just like, I, I mean, I've drawn on that experience, you know, years ago. You know, knowing that, okay, I got up and, you know, I have what it takes. He was in the crowd. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, okay. But, um... I don't know, man. It was, it was weird when I got dropped. I, I, I mean, as you guys saw, I just smiled. Like, I don't even know why I smiled. I was at peace, man. So I was, I was, but how important how important was all I mean the guys that you fought on your way up the Super Six everything like that how important was that I mean, a factor that in being ready for you this? to the place where you're ready for moments like this but I wasn't ever trying to downplay this fight when I said I had been there before like I've been in like sometimes the media gets you know a, a certain opinion based on what's written and sometimes I'm like man that's not what happened like I, I've been in tough fights man I've been in trust me my wife will tell you. I've had to be iced down for two, three days, can't walk and stuff. I've been there, I paid my dues. And obviously I have to go in there and do it again and keep doing it until I retire. But I mean, I've tasted pretty much everything you could taste as a professional fighter except the loss. Andre, Andre, Andre. Andre. Sergei, Andre. Andre. that's a good situation. <laughs> but Sergei, you want to put you in the face? I can't say that. I can't say that. To this point, was there he, he had a strong punch, but it was nothing that was in his. Did y'all see me running tonight? No, it was, just, it was nothing. Like he, he's a strong puncher, but there's nothing in his punches that made me feel like, man, I can't engage with him at all. Do you think Adonis Stevenson is ready for SOG? I can't call it, man. It's really not even about Adonis right now, man. Adonis has had so many opportunities to step up and fight, and it's funny that that all of a sudden he's calling the winner out of this fight. <clears throat> um, I'm not, honestly, I'm not even interested in talking about it, Donis. Was there anything about Kovalev that was better than you anticipated? Nope, I think it was pretty much what it was. Uh, sharp, technically sound, you know, he's got the European style. Um, and we got a couple of those fighters in our gym, so, you know, I know that, I know how they work, I know how they fight. I know. Uh, it, it's a great, great style, man, and, and I was a little surprised how, how much he kind of faded, you know, and it wasn't visibly, but, it, you know, in terms of maybe the crowd may have seen or, or the viewing audience, but as a fighter, you can feel it. And um, he just couldn't 
He didn't have another gear. Andre, for your, for your career, you know, this was your, your, that Guys, performance you were looking for? Guys, we got a fast question. We got to go. That you were looking for that best performance on the yep. big stage. Okay. Biggest, Possibly, yeah. did, you, did, did you deliver it for, well, to your stage? I hope so. Yeah. What you think? I, I, I got you. Certified. Certified. Andre. Andre. Hey, Andre. Andre. What's, Andre. Andre. Sorry, we've got to go. What's going through your head? Because most products probably have you down three points. I'm thinking, man, I got to get this back. How? What? I mean, how I, do you stay the course? It's like a fight or flight thing, right? I'm not going to flight. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not running. So it's time to fight. That's all that was going in my head. Like, like this, I, this, I do this for a living. You know, I fight three days a week in a boxing gym against four or five different guys. Like, I fight for a living every single day. It's gut check time. So, it's nothing in me that wanted to run, duck, dodge, hide. It's just, I gotta get this back. And thankfully, I had the rounds to try to get some more rounds in the bank. So, it was just an urgency that was in me. I was, I was so, I had such an urgency on the inside where I didn't have time to get tired because I was digging myself out of a hole. So, so every round was getting set from that point that's on? That's what he was telling me. He, Andre, said, did you feel he said you need every single round, and that's the standard he set, so I wouldn't let off the gas. Andre, Andre was that? feel that after all 12 were done, you raised your hand, that there was no doubt that you had won the fight, or were you questioning it? No, 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 I, I mean, I didn't know how it was gonna go. You guys know how the, the judges can go sometimes. I felt like I did enough. Do you feel we need that rematch yeah, to, to, to permanently know who's the better man? I mean, I don't know, bro. I, I was a better man, and I got the belt. <laughs> Andre, 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 I really it. need this answer about Anthony Stevenson closer to my mic, please. I'm going to bring Anthony back this Stevenson? back to Montreal. Oh, Do you want to fight Anthony Stevenson now? I'm not talking about Adonis right now. Um, it's not about him. You know, tonight is about me and Kovalev. We're going a great fight. I mean, obviously, Kovalev is happy. Um, I was fortunate to come, up, come away with the victory. He's had opportunities to fight. Why now? Thank you guys so much. Andre, 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 congratulations. Andre, 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 What's in you is gonna come out, and, and I'm just fortunate, man. That, you know, God has given me just such a competitive fight on the inside, and and I show it every day in the gym, so I know it's there. And I've shown it in, in other fights, like I said. So, yeah, he pulled that out of me tonight. Was it, a, was it a weird feeling seeing that? Of We're used to seeing you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to be on the cameras for no reason. I don't like that at all. I'm not gonna sit here and say it was a. But I'm proud of myself, man. Yeah. Should be. God got me off that canvas, man. man, and I was able to battle my way back against hey, one of the best to, in the world, to the Bay Area, man. man. Yeah. I'm proud think, of you, man. You know, I don't ever clamor for respect okay. or clamor that you guys write yeah. certain things because you guys are entitled to your opinion. But I think tonight, man, I think I think we get our just due tonight, man. My coach did a great job. My team did a great job. I felt like I did a good job. What was the driving force in, the, in that moment for you? I don't want to lose, man. Yeah. I don't want to lose. I just kept thinking about what it would feel like to not go home with these belts tonight. And to be, to be in a great fight, but come up short. I, I, I never want, the last time I felt that was 12, 13 years old, man. I, I just never want to feel that again. And Ever. say something for, for Russian friends. Yeah. I don't, you sure they want to hear from me tonight? Yeah. <laughs> say something for them. Russia, um, you guys have a great champion in, in Sergey Kovalev. Uh, it was a great fight tonight. I'm sure you guys thought I lost the fight. But um, um, those that supported me, if there's a few, thank you. That's um, it, guys. That's it, guys. Thank you, guys. Andre, 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 I know I, I asked you this question. I said, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. What's left there to do in this division? You just beat the number one guy. So now. No, man. Well, what? That's interesting. That's a good. That's a good. That's a good point. You know, we just got to sit down and Jay Prince, Josh Dubin. You know, everybody's got to sit down and kind of figure it out. But that's what you kind of risk when you're fighting a Super Six against all the champions, or you go, or you go straight to the top guy, like you just mentioned. So I, honestly, I don't have the answer right now. Thank you guys. God bless y'all. Andre, can I get a picture? Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta move. No, no, we gotta move. It's done. Come on, guys. No selfies. No more excuses.